Hello, my name is Kate McMahon and I'm your host today of What's Happening. I'm very excited um, to have Roberta Miller. She's the Executive Director of the Cape Cod Art Associ Association with us today. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Kate. Thanks I did for it. having me. You did. I did it. <laughs> One of the reasons that Roberta is here today is to share with us some changes that they've made recently. And of course, the first change <laughs> is the name. Right, exactly. Which is Cape Cod Art, Art Center. Center. Exactly. Yeah, we, uh, we decided that we would try to change the name to give a little spark into uh, the organization and to make it seem as though it's much more community oriented because it is open to the public. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience at the center? Sure. Um, uh, my husband and I bought a house in Barnstable Village in 2001 and a friend of mine invited me to a reception at the center and uh, I immediately asked are there photography classes and uh, they said, no, would you like to start some? <laughs> so that started my journey there. Uh, I formed a committee and set down some policies and went through um, the board procedure of um, having it approved. Uh, and then we started uh, one exhibit, which turned into many exhibits. And we also started teaching classes. And they invited me to be on the board. So um, I. I accepted that position and um, the rest is history. I guess I uh, became the president and then the executive director. So I've been there for a long time. Um, absolutely love the place and committed to all of its programming. So um, that's, great. that's basically my background. I, I was a, um, a high school teacher and also I taught at Framingham State College. So um, you know, my, my love of education really uh, shone through and uh, uh, started uh, the programming there. That's great. Yeah. Is uh, digital, digital photography your first love? Um, it's my hobby. Oh, okay. I wouldn't say that I have, you know, uh, made a career out of it, but um, I love art. Uh, my husband and I have traveled all over the world and we always end up at a museum or a gallery, so um, you know, it's it's just something that's really special to me. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Um, can you share with us? I know that we're here today to talk about the 70-year anniversary, right? Which is great. You've got a couple of events coming up mm -hmm. that you're going to be able to share with us, right? But can you share with us um, what the art scene was like 70 years ago? Sure. Well, it seemed as though there were uh, many artists in the Mid-Cape area uh, who really didn't have a home or a, a gallery to uh, support them. Uh, at that time in 1948, uh, the only institution that was really very popular and um, uh, well attended was the Provincetown Art Association, which has now become PAM, uh, Art Association and Museum. Uh, and who just celebrated their 100th anniversary. Um, so people had to have to travel a, an awful uh, long way mm -hmm. uh, because I don't think Route 6 was totally built at that point in time um, to, you know, to find a place to hang their artwork or um, uh, network with other artists. Okay. So a group of people got together. Um, Dr. Fritz Talbot, who was a well-known pediatrician at Mass General Hospital, had just bought a house in Osterville, and he was a painter. He was a hobbyist, and he said to some of his friends, let's start a group together and we can paint together. Um, uh, and then when they started meeting in his house in Osterville, um, they decided to start the Cape Cod Art Association. So it was basically six people who were artists and um, they opened galleries in Hyannis and um, people started flocking to their gallery because there weren't that many galleries on the Cape at that time. Um, so, and then it gave the opportunity for artists who were in Provincetown 
a lot of whom came from New York City and would come for the weekend or for vacation to paint. And uh, they would come down to the Art Association and have the opportunity to teach, to mentor, to have the camaraderie of other artists uh, in the area. Um, in 1970, um, they had the opportunity to move to Barnstable Village, mm -hmm. and um, our existing building um, became a reality in 1972. So uh, it was a long journey, but um, the membership has grown tremendously mm -hmm. uh, since, uh, since its inception. Uh, we're up to about 970 members right now from all Large. over the Cape, uh, all over, basically all over the South Shore and uh, a, a good part of the country. So we draw people from all over. Well, Dr. Talbot sure uh, left a legacy. He certainly did. I, you know, we named one of our galleries f uh, for him. Mm -hmm. And we've been in touch with uh, his l only living family, his four grandchildren. And, um, you know, they're very excited about the Art Association and the celebration that we have planned for the 70th anniversary. That's great. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, that's your first event, which is happening towards the end of June? Right. Uh, we have invited um, members of our community who have really been a part of the Art Association for a long time um, to uh, exhibit in this uh, special exhibit called, um, I want to get the name right, it's called uh, One Building Many Artists mm -hmm. and uh, it will be opening on June 22nd. We'll have a reception from 6 to 8 p.m. So everyone is invited to come and have some wine with us and uh, um, celebrate this um, great event. We're, we'll also be showing works of our founding members that we have Wonderful. found. Uh, we have borrowed from galleries, from family members, from friends, from collectors who are willing to share the works of these people. Um, so Wonderful. we're very excited about that. We'll showcase some of our members who have stayed with us for a long time and have really excelled in their art career. Um, and we also have invited every president who uh, has served on our board to show a piece or two. Um, and I think we have found the majority of them. Some of them are deceased, but we have found their family members and they will be contributing pieces as well. So it's, it'll be an exciting retrospective of uh, the way art evolved from the 40s all the way to today. Sounds like it's a wonderful event that you have planned. Yeah, I think it'll be nice. Now, the opening is open and free to the public? Free to the public, yes. It's Friday, June 22nd from 6 to 8 p.m. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. And then in July, we've got a birthday bash going right. on. Right, yes. We're also celebrating, um, besides the 70th anniversary, the, the opening of the building that we're currently in. It, it's a modern building that was designed by Richard Sears Gallagher, who is a well-known Cape and Boston architect. Um, and uh, we're going to be celebrating, you know, our both our anniversary and our birthday um, by having demos, uh, children's art uh, activities, uh, speakers. Uh, we'll have music. We'll have. Um, some refreshments, uh, uh, a big cake especially. Uh, so I think it should be a fun day. And we, it's 2 to 6 p.m., so we're inviting everyone to, to come in and share our joy. Yes, and see a fantastic building. Yes, uh, it yes, is gorgeous. It, it is. It's a beautiful uh, modern building that um, I think that we've done a great job of preserving and um, showcasing people's artwork for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, we're an educational center open all year round. Uh, so we, um, we think that uh, a lot of people, um, you know, have come through the building and uh, will uh, continue to do so. 
We, we do have plans to renovate and expand it, but um, that will be in our future. Yes. Uh, you uh, have a very active center between all of the classes, the exhibits, and the events that you are talking about. Right. Um, is there anything else that you would like to share with the audience in regards to classes that are offered? Well, we have classes for young children all the way up to teenagers. We have classes for uh, adults who are just hobbyists all the way up to professional artists. Um, we have a large plein air group that go out every Monday uh, and paint together. Um, it, you know, it's a really great educational program that runs all year round. Uh, we usually have classes from nine in the morning, sometimes till nine at night. Um, we also bring in well-known artists for our workshops uh, from across the country. So we attract a lot of people from all over to uh, take our classes and workshops. And we're really proud of our education program. A very active a place. Ve a very active place, That's yes. And, and pretty soon, we'll, uh, the end of June, we'll also have our, the 16th Annual Art in the Village, which is on the courthouse lawn in Barnstable Village. And everyone is invited. Uh, we, uh, we have lots of vendors who are uh, jewelers, craftspeople, artists, painters. Um, we'll have some food and music, um, kids' activities, so it's a, it's a great weekend. Wonderful. Yeah. Very th thankful. Um, I've been to that event, and it's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. Very it is. We so. attract a lot of people. So um, for our viewers at home, you have all of this information on your website. Right, yes. My website is um, capecartartcenter.org. Uh, easy to find and uh, pretty comprehensive. I think it carries all of the yeah. uh, programs that we have. Very much so. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us today? Um, no, I, I, well, I would like to uh, tell people about our n newest edition. We uh, have uh, children's art classes this summer, mm. and we also have uh, tours, photo tours. Uh, we'll take you out on the dunes in Provincetown. We'll take you on the whale watch boat. We'll take you on an echo tour, um, and we'll take you to different locations uh, every night. So um, if you want to um, take pictures with us, uh, and have some help taking them, um, look on our website for our schedule. We have some beautiful places on the Cape to be we able to take do. advantage yeah. of. For the beauty of light is um, incredible yeah. and uh, attracts many people to paint and uh, take pictures. Of. Yeah. So. Well, thank you very much for being here today. Well, thank and you for having me. And sharing all of the fun stuff that you have going on at the center. And... Uh, Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.